gigabytes of RAM. But the iPhone XR also, well, it doesn't also have it, but it has an Apple A12 Bionic chip inside of it with three gigabytes of RAM. So let's go and see which one's the faster form between both. Okay, there we go. So getting into some of these applications, let's go and see what we're working with. All the apps are clear on the background. 10 hours here, 13 hours here. Phone calls, three, two, one. And kind of the same thing, not a big difference. Music, three, two, one. Okay, kind of like two different panels. I'm not really too sure what's going on here. I should be connected to the Wi-Fi, so it's weird that I'm not. Let's go and get into settings, three, two, one. Okay, whatever. Let's go and get into cameras, three, two, one. Okay, two different panels. Sue photos, three, two, one. Okay, kind of an interesting thing there too. Let's go and hop out of here. Mail, three, two, one. Okay, iPhone 13, I think was a little bit better there. Let's go into clock, three, two, one. Okay, iPhone 10 are kind of stuttered there a little bit. Now some of these other third-party applications we can go and open. Let's try Temple Run 2, 3, 2, 1. So all these apps are kind of scattered all over the place on my phone, so it may take a second to find them. I hope there's no crazy pop-ups that kind of stop us from using one of these things. Okay, so both of them loaded into it. The iPhone 13 is slightly faster, as you can see. The iPhone 10 wasn't that far behind either, so I give the iPhone 10 a lot of credit there. Like It wasn't really that much further behind. We can try another one. We can try Subway Surfers, which I should have. Three, two, one. Okay, actually the iPhone XR was faster there. Not really too sure what's up with that. Let's go and get into this game. And this is going to be... Okay, so the iPhone XR did kind of glitch there a little bit, as you can see. But so far we are doing pretty good on both. I cannot believe I'm playing two Temple Runs at the same time. Or two Subway Surfers hopping out of here. Let's go ahead and try Genshin Impact. That's a very, very large game. Three, two, one. So with a game like Genshin Impact, you know, when you get into the game, clearly the iPhone 13, I think, would be faster. The loading speeds may differ. So far, the 10R did beat the iPhone 13 one time, which is pretty surprising in a game out of all things. But you can see right here, the iPhone 13 was faster. The iPhone 10R, I think, also does a good job within the game, but you would be getting a faster phone and faster performing phone from the iPhone 13 in that example than from something like the iPhone you know, 10R. Now we can try Call of Duty Mobile, three, two, one. So we can also just wait. Now I think with this game, it takes a very, very long time to get into the loading screen. So we'll wait until we kind of get an idea. And so far, I'm already seeing that the iPhone 13 would be faster here, mostly because it's gotten to every single loading panel faster. So take it as you will, but I will probably tell you the iPhone 13, still the faster phone in every single way. I think the 10R does a decent job for what it's worth, but I think the 13 is faster, but the 10R still, you know, is a decent performing phone too. So that kind of covers it up there. Now when the camera...